June the 22nd, me and this man here, George Galloway, the Comedy Store, London, 2.30 in the afternoon. It's going to be a rip-roaring show, George. Are you okay. ready is the big question. I was here first. You were late. You Why were here late? first. You were here first. I was having a little light lunch uh, earlier uh, ah. in a, what can only be described as a saloon nearby, which served me a very, very nice pint of beer. And I came here to continue with my hard-working day. It's going to be rumbustious. It will be. You and I disagree sharply on a lot of things. We do. But we like to take a, a comedic look yes. at things and people. Because there's a lot to laugh at, let's <laughs> face it. I mean, there's the Change UK party for a start. What are they called now? The Chuckers, I the call Chuckers. them. The Chuckers. Their leader just said they will quite possibly not be around yes. come the general election. Well, that's a relief. That's the shortest <laughs> footnote in history. It certainly I is. I wonder what Chuka Amuna thinks. Yes. He's thrown everything away. He really has. And he could have been Jeremy Corbyn. He, he could have been the leader of the Labour Party. Contender. You know, he was the first candidate out the block when uh, Ed Miliband stepped down. Talking of Ed Miliband, I don't wish to get into it in a big way, but will we be serving any sort of light snacks for the people to eat <laughs> while they watch the show? Bacon sandwiches. <laughs> You're a strange fellow if you're standing against your older brother for a political post that he's a shoe in for. And to be honest, if it wasn't for his older brother, he would be the most hated Miliband in the world. But he's not, because his brother's even more hated than he is That's right. when he pretended to be a football fan I, I, up in I, Sunderland. I knew their father and he's spinning in his grave. I bet. But politics is upside down now. The Conservative Party has all but disappeared. Boris yeah. Johnson's been taken seriously. He's a wild card, but I mean, who else are they going to put up? I mean, it's got to be Boris Johnson or Buster. Yes. Somebody said Dominic Raab, two A's and a B. That's not a qualification for being uh, in any way the Prime Minister of this great country. When a man of Boris's age loses all that weight, gets into better gear, combs his hair, mm. he's either got a love affair going yes, on. which he has. Or he's running for a new position. Well, in his case. In his case, both. Both. He's the only chance they've got mm. of coming back. But that will set up a very interesting confrontation between Corbyn and Boris Johnson. Mm. Assuming Corbyn hangs on, of course. Well, there's people that want to kill him as well. The old ice yeah, picks are out. Uh, right Join us. It'll be an interesting confrontation here at the Comedy Store. 22nd June, yes. 2.30. Lots of laughs and one or two tears to be shed <laughs> of joy.